What's up guys, Mr. I Talk Apple here bringing you another video and today I have my response video to J. Algu, Jeremy, his art, his um, mission video, his request that is to um, tell all you guys my origin of my YouTube channel and how I became to this part right now um, so I guess I'll just jump right in big thanks to Jeremy for coming up with this idea I think it's a pretty cool idea but I'll just jump right in um, yeah. uh, basically what happened was back in the day when I was a young child like, like a, I'm to, you're talking like I'm talking like seven eight nine year old um, I used to read all the time like all of the time I had like my own little bookshelf filled with like a hundred books that were just mine I used to read like all the time um, and I stopped once I got to like yeah I would say like the equivalent of like fourth grade in like America and I stopped really reading too much. I still read occasionally, but nowhere near as much. And last this Christmas, that's just not Christmas 2011. So the Christmas, December 25th, 2011, that Christmas, I decided I wanted to try reading some more. So I wanted to try and get back into reading. So I asked my mum if she, for Christmas, would pick me up some books that weren't didn't look too boring looked kind of interesting and she knew i was a big fan of, like games and stuff and i kind of researched and i said i don't know i've heard of these things called graphic novels and maybe they would be a good thing and i guess she researched some stuff that i might like and she came back with these two books the first I, these two books i both got for christmas and the first one was watchmen and the second one was the Walking Dead Volume One. Not not bad choices at all. Um but I got them for Christmas and I read them and I really, really enjoyed them. Especially like I've read you know, I might actually read Watchmen again very soon. I kinda just want to read it again. But The Walking Dead really, really enjoyed The Walking Dead. Um but I read them and then I kinda wanted to read some more comics and maybe get into buying and reading some comics so I went on to YouTube now before I read comics um, I w I've, I've been watching YouTube videos since late 2005 for a long long time I've been watching YouTube videos um, since like the birth of YouTube um, but I so that's why my first instinct was to come on here and research YouTube videos so I, I came on and I researched um, graphic novels and I researched um, graphic novel collections in particular to see what other people were getting and I started picking up a few different graphic novels, some Batman books and stuff and stuff. And then I decided like a, a couple of months after Christmas, like end of February, beginning of March, that I wanted to try and collect single issue comics because the idea of them seemed pretty cool to me. And um, I wanted to read like a, a continuous story month to month. So I, I, I searched like comic reviews and I came across um, Chris, Dark Avengers CE6's channel. And I started watching his comic reviews, um, his weekly sh stuff and all of his other stuff as well. I watched a lot of his videos. Like um, I watched a hell of a lot of them. I used to comment on them all the time. And I also started watching um, Captain Strange Life Hands, his videos, um, but I was definitely watching Chris a lot. Of, and uh, he gave me a few ideas of what I might want to read. So I went to the comic shop, my, lo my only comic shop. No, there's two. I went to the comic shop and I picked up um, two books. I picked up, um, I picked up three books, sorry. I picked up Wonder Woman issue one to three of the new 52 now that wasn't really his idea it they had them in like a bag and it was like a grab bag and it was like a it was like three pound and like i'm not gonna pass up on th three books for three pound that's like insane but um so i grabbed them thought why not 
didn't like them at the time. I've since went back and read them, and I've loved them. But um, so then after that, I start. I picked up Batman issue seven and Amazing Spider-Man six ninety two. But anyway, I started reading a lot of comics, and I started also watching a lot of more reviewers. But yeah, again, sticking with Chris, and um, I started. Co I commented a lot on Chris's videos. And we kind of got talking in the comments about like comics and stuff, and then I got I remember I got Skype, um, and I asked if he had Skype, and then I added him on Skype, um, and then I remember one day he was doing something on his channel where he it was just as Google Plus was coming out with their live show feature, with Hangouts, and he wanted to test it out, so I said I would jump on and. And test out, I, I and test it out. So I jumped on, and I talked to him for a little bit, but after that we became good friends and we talked on Skype and stuff. And he kind of gave me the idea to create my own YouTube channel. So I decided that I wanted to start doing videos for myself. Um, and when I originally started, I was thinking I was going to do the same as Chris, like a weekly comic review show. And then I had the idea for this weekly news show. Um, which I never came to fruition. I did a few episodes of it, but then after that, I decided that it wasn't for me. Just the way I was doing it, anyway. Um, but I, I started doing that, and I started posting videos a lot more. Um, I, I remember at first I was really, really bad. I, so I was, I still um and ah and go um some quite a lot, but I, I do it less now. But um, I think I do a better job of making my videos now and my reviews start to progress my, and my videos start to progress and I started becoming better and better friends with um, members in the community, um, Chris, um, Stephen, uh, Jeremy when he came on, Ben, um, the Edges of Blades, I became really good friends with all these different guys in the community and I started going on like live shows, I've done a lot of live shows um, but yeah, I started doing a lot of live shows, and that kind of encouraged me to up my game with my videos a bit. So, um, I started to try to post better videos with better quality and stuff. And then, I think after a little while, I took like a month. For like a month, I didn't post a single video. I just, I just didn't feel like it. Um, and I'm not going to post videos if I don't want to, because that would just be pointless. It's supposed to be for fun. But um, then I came back and I started doing a lot more live shows. Um, so I became good friends with like Chris and Stephen, and I started doing a lot more live shows. And um, Chris had the idea to start a, a new group, like an extra part of Dark Avenger, Inc. Um, a new channel like Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. And I I believe I was like one of the first people for him to I think I might have even been the first I'm not sure but I was definitely definitely very close to being first to people who he asked to um to join and I said yes straight away because I was really excited to be working with all these different guys in the comic book community so I jumped on that straight away and then as from there we built the build up to Inc Plus I started trying to do more different types of videos um, I experimented with my reviews. I did um, weekly comic reviews. I did in-depth reviews. I did comic hauls. I did different things, and uh, I tried my best to do my videos. Um, my main problem was my microphone because my mic in my laptop made this absolutely atrocious beeping sound. Thank God for this thing, this new microphone. Um, this new microphone is much better. Um, but Overall, I think I've progressed a lot just from researching a couple of comics, finding Chris, and then watching a lot of videos, starting to talk to him, then starting to post my own videos, and now I'm on um, Dark Adventure Inc. Plus. Um, I'm also I also write um, in-depth reviews for um, Comic Book Frontline, which is like um, a, another it's another part of. The Dark Avenger Inc. universe, but it's written reviews, news, interviews, and it's a blog. But it's a really, really awesome blog, and I do I write on as I'm a part of the, I'm a writer on there. So I do a lot of stuff. I I I do my own channel. I do Ink, um, plus sorry, I do live shows. Um, 
I do Comic Frontline, I do my own blog now, um, but I do a lot of stuff, so I've come a long way from just picking up and reading a couple of graphic novels in a short period of time to being a member of this thriving comic community and meet good friends with a lot of you guys. So anyway, that's my origin story, kind of. I hope it wasn't too vague. I just, I, I don't really have that much of an origin story considering I haven't been doing it very long. But saying that, everyone's got an origin story if they're doing it, but... um. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, today I uploaded another video um, called the weekly recap and that is the beginning of this huge thing that is going to be happening on Inc Plus uh, a new show. It's the kickoff episode, it's the first episode. Um, future episodes will have a lot more cooler stuff. It will have um, different segments from different members of Inc and Inc Plus. Um, it'll have loads of different things. It'll be this huge Inc universe wide um, comic book community, comic comic and um, video and it'll happen every week on Sunday I uploaded it on Tuesday this week because I had problems with I had to do some of school and then I had problems rendering the video but it eventually got up um, so I'll put a link in the description that please please go and check that out I put a lot of effort into editing it it's probably my most edited video and um, so I put a lot a lot of effort in um, so please please check that out and uh, if you haven't subscribed to me already and you want and you want to and um, my link will also be in the description and um, mr i talk apple and um, so please subscribe i'm very close to 100 i think i'm at 94 subscribers right now six six subscribe six subscribers away from 100 subscribers oh my god so close and um, very excited for that and um, follow and um, check out dark avenger inc the normal Dark Avenger Inc. And um, if you haven't subscribed to Dark Avenger Inc. Plus already, subscribe to us. Subscribe to Dark Avenger Inc. And um, check out Comic F Comic Frontline and check out my Twitter. And um, check do all that stuff. Everything's in the link description to lots and lots of cool things for you guys to look at that are comic book related. Anyway, guys, um, I've been Mr. I Talk Apple. That's all I have time for. Peace out.